So if we're going to practice our API testing, we need an application to test. And the application I am going to use in this case study or this set of videos is tracks. So I'll look at tracks itself in more detail in a different video. In this one, we're just going to look at how to install tracks. So you can find tracks on its own website, getontracks.org. All the downloads are in slash downloads, and you can find all the instructions for how to install it on here. There are uh, different dependencies. So you need Ruby, you probably need Bundler, you may need MySQL, SQL Lite, things like that. All the instructions are actually in the manual for installing it. Let me get the 2.3 installation up. But getting tracks installed is a bit of a pain. If we just want to have an application to test and practice with, actually going through all the process of installing it is a hassle because we're not actually going to use it, we're going to test it. And one of the things they recommend in their installation thing is using a prepackaged VM, which is great. That's what I tend to use. I tend to use the ones at Bitnami. This is a very good site for prepackaged VMs. Essentially, you can, you can also download the installer which creates a local install, which is isolated from any other install. That's an easy way to get started, but I tend to use the virtual machines. So I would download the tracks virtual machines. Although the instructions here mention Jumpbox, Jumpbox is no longer available. What you can also use is Turnkey. Now what usually works on my machines is the Bitnami install with VMware. You can also use, which is a free virtual machine player. Now, what I generally recommend to people, because different laptops have different setup needs and different configuration. So what you might find is that VirtualBox might work better for you than VMware, just immediately in terms of without changing the networking settings. You might find that Turnkey works better for you than Bitnami as a virtual machine. One of the good things about uh, Bitnami and Turnkey is that they're fairly easy to install on Amazon. They're very simple to get running in an Amazon virtual machine in the cloud. So if you can't get it running on your local machine, you can do that. Or with Bitnami, you can use the installer. You have a whole bunch of options for making it easy to get tracks up and running. The one I tend to use is downloading the virtual machine and loading that into VMware, which is nice and easy. So essentially what I'm doing, or what I would do, is just download either this um, virtual machine or you can download the VMDK, which is the actual virtual machine disk, and then start a new virtual machine from that. But the virtual machine itself is compatible with VirtualBox VMware. So you should be able to go straight out of the box with that. Turnkey is much the same. You download the virtual machine, you should be able to load that into your virtual machine system or download the VMDK to get working with any virtual machine player. Let me show you how I get it started up. So I just start VMware. I've got Bitnami tracks here. I play the virtual machine. It starts up, boots in. Just wait for everything to start here. Now the good thing about a virtual machine is when I stop it, it can just save its state. And that's what it's doing here. It's restoring itself from state. The virtual machine never actually shuts down. It just stores a state onto disk and then restarts in its current position. There you go. So this is the Bitnami virtual machine that I've downloaded. And you can see that it's telling me exactly what the IP address is. So I can access the application at this address. And the default admin username is user and Bitnami. The console username and password for the admin is slightly different. It's bitnami, bitnami. But if I go off to 192.168.126.129, there's tracks with its GUI. This tell me I can log in as user bitnami. So let's do that, user bitnami. Now I tend not to change these because I'm running this locally on my local machine. Security is much less of an issue. I'm just using this application for practice. So I'll use the defaults. I'll keep the defaults the same pretty much. And there we go. Now all of this data is pretty much added through me doing some practice security testing, random data generation, whole bunch of stuff coming in here. And we're gonna cover in later videos how you actually go about putting this data in, testing it through its API. But for this one, 
To get it installed, you can use the instructions from the Get On Tracks website, but I recommend you use one of the prepackaged versions. And I tend to use the one a bit nami. You need a virtual machine player like VirtualBox or VMware, and you should be able to get up and running fairly quickly. Yeah.